From now on, the configuration wizard is also available when only the feature modeling module is installed. We have changed the dialog so that it looks the same as the feature modeling wizard. We have also added a warning to the information box that tells you that you need to create the config file of your feature IDE project in the configs folder. Of course, this warning disappears after selecting the correct folder. As you can see, the feature IDE XML format is already selected. When you select a different format, another warning shows up here. This is because the other formats do not support all feature properties that are supported by the feature IDE XML format. A file explorer opens where you need to select your feature model. The wizard will now take the features of the feature model and create a default config from them. Let me show you another new feature in the upcoming version of Feature IDE. You can now add descriptions to constraints similarly to how you can add them to features. Let me show you by creating a new constraint. This new text field allows you to add any multi-line description to the constraint that you want. Of course, you can change, change the description at any time. As you can see here, the constraint description shows up whenever you hover over it with your cursor in the feature model. 